In this video, I want to talk about setting the sales tax or value added tax rate in your invoice in FM Starting Point. Now, first off, FM Starting Point is designed to be the starting point of your next FileMaker project. But we've gone ahead and added a lot of important features here that we think most businesses will need. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple line items here. I can just say that this is a widget, and this, may, this is maybe a super widget. I'm going to go ahead and put some prices in here as well. Now what I'm also doing is adding a line item for service for widget installation. And in a lot of governmental jurisdictions, service fees are actually not taxable. And that gets into an issue, at least here in the United States, where some items are going to be taxable and some items are not taxable. Now down here at the bottom of the screen, right here, we can see where we have a tax rate. This is the tax rate that will be applied to the items that we check off up here as being taxable. So I can say the tax rate here in California in some areas is 8.75%. Of course, when you input it, make sure you input it as a decimal. And of course, clicking out, it's going to format it as a percent. Now I had to manually enter that here. And that could be a hassle, but we'll get to that in a second. Now the next thing I want to show is that right now none of the items are set up to be taxable. But I want to show that we're going to spend two hours of labor. Maybe it costs my technicians $20 an hour to go out and install the widget, but I'm going to charge $40 an hour for them, for example. So they're going to go out and install the widget and super widget. And so, however, due to local tax laws, we need to charge and collect tax on the widget and super widget only. And that's what we have going right here. As you can see, I add the first item here and the tax goes up. I add them the second item right here and we get tax there as well. So the line items are set to be individually taxable, which is pretty slick. Now another area of complexity that comes to mind is areas where the tax rates change or areas where you want this to default. Now let's start off with the simplest situation first. If you want the tax rate to default to the same tax rate all the time, all you have to do is really go into layout mode. So you can see the name of the field right here. And the name of the field is called sales tax rate. We can see that right here. Next thing we're going to need to do is go into manage, manage the schema or field definitions. So we go file, down to manage, down to database. Next thing we're going to do we're going to find that sales tax rate that we had here. And right here we have the sales tax rate. Now right now it's set to be a number field, but we can go into options right here and specify an auto enter value. So every time a new record is created, it automatically enters some value. Maybe that we know that the tax rate in this area is always going to be 7.5%. So we enter this right here. And then we say OK. Then we can go back to browse mode. Now when I create a new record right here, you're going to see the sales tax right here has been input automatically for us. So that's a pretty straightforward fix. Now it can get more complicated if you have different jurisdictions that require you to charge different rates based upon where your customers are at. Once again, this gets into rules about where the transaction actually takes place. With some businesses, even within the state of California, for example, it depends where the customer is at, and that's where you actually charge the sales tax for that area. And to make it even worse, there are different counties or parishes or provinces, if you want to call it that, but there are different territorial areas within the state of California. Each one of those counties sets its own tax rate. Now the way you would go about supporting multiple jurisdictions with multiple tax rates would be a lookup table with a jurisdiction and tax rate attached to it. Now that's beyond the scope of this video, but we have a training series where we talk about this type of setup in detail. It's a training series that focuses on FileMaker Pro development with emphasis on FM starting point. So hopefully that gives you some ideas about how to set up sales tax or value-added tax rate in your invoice in FM starting point.